Uh, good morning all. So my reflection today will be taken from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 7, verses 7 through 12. Jesus said to his disciples, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives, and the one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which one of you would hand his son a stone when he asks for a loaf of bread? Or a snake when he asks for a fish? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask him? Do to others whatever you will have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In this our gospel passage, Jesus or Jesus to always learn to ask with confidence and also humility. Asking with confidence is having courage that our Heavenly Father will always hear us. He's always a compassionate and merciful Father. Of course, if the human beings know how to give good things to their children whenever they ask, how much more our all-loving, our all-compassionate and merciful Father. He has the best, he always wishes us the best as his precious children, sons and daughters. And also acts with humility, believing and knowing that God will always answer us in his own time and according to his own will. He created us. He knows us even more than we know ourselves. He knows what is good for us. So he will always, we should always have patience and pray with humility and always ask the will of God to be done. And also may we learn to persevere in asking. May we never give up, may we be persistent, continue to ask until God puts smiles on our faces, until God answer our prayer. Of course, we know that even no, so our prayer is already an answer. So, and also Jesus is telling us here that we should learn to do to one another what all of us like to do to ourselves. This is the golden rule of life. May we treat one another with love, compassion, and respect. So knowing that, that is the golden rule. That is the summary of all the law and prophets. So may we always learn, you know, relate very well with to be, can be nice to one another. May the good Lord help us, most especially during this Lenten season. May we deepen our prayer life. May we pray always and not to lose hearts, believing that God answers us as a loving and compassionate God. May the good Lord help us always as we resolve to always deepen our prayer life, growing in our relationship with God and one another. God bless us all. Amen. Amen.